What up? I want to show you guys real quick some things I think about when I go into your programming so that you guys can understand it a little bit better and we can go after it. And that way, hopefully I answer some questions or maybe why you're doing what you're doing. The cycle. All right, I made the wheel of basically good programming. So it starts with foundation. What is foundation? Foundation pieces is where we start with everybody. And then we have to go back to it. Like I still go back to foundation. Why? Because everything needs to be built from there and we are deteriorating as humans. So when we think we're just getting stronger, lots of other parts that are getting neglected can get weaker. So we want to start with stability, balance, right? And aerobic capacity. So. A lot of times new people come in, they don't have a strong aerobic base, and that really is a foundation. Can you breathe through these movements? Then we go from foundation down to accumulate. We want volume, sets, reps, and progressive overload. Basically, this is where we can spend most of the year in. This is where we take honed in movements that are here to meet your goals. So if you're trying to grow a bigger upper chest, you're gonna do lots of incline presses, right? shoulder presses, things like that, but you're gonna accumulate volume. You wanna get more and more reps, more and more sets, more and more contractions. That's the goal. And you wanna do that as long as you can with good stability and maintaining good aerobic energy through that. Intensification, load, speed, and complexity. These three are really basically uh, different ways of creating intensity. So you don't want to stay intensification for too long, depending on the type of client. If you're training for sport, you probably have to go there more. If you're training for fitness, you're going to have to go there more. But if you're general population and you just want to look good, move well, you want to visit that every once in a while for some really optimal uh, gains. And those gains are going to do huge transformations for your body as well. But we don't want to stay there very long because intensity really creates a high level of stress and is a high risk factor. So we don't stay there very long. We tend to stay much longer in accumulation and that accumulation needs to build to the intensification. After we go from intensification, we want to walk up to max expression. Otherwise like benchmarks, tests, assessments. This is going to be where we assess, where we start to see, did our programming work? Did the hard work we put in for all those weeks of accumulating, all those weeks of uh, intensification, and now we're going to peak with a max effort. Uh, it can be a max bench press. It could be a one mile run. It could be a 40 mile or 40 yard sprint. It could be um, box jumping for height. It could be all kinds of things, but it is our max expression. We don't stay there very long. It's usually a week and it's for a purpose. After we're done max expression, we head up to deload where we lower intensity and up the recovery and then repeat. Now this is a really well thought through uh, five point idea of the principles of programming. But, and I don't get all the credit for it, a lot of this was stolen from uh, other people I've read. I stole some of this from uh, Marcus Philly, who I really enjoy. But this is, I use a lot of what I would use in our language, as you guys are my clients, what I would use with you guys to explain this in a consult so that you understand the basics of these things. But for some of you, you know, you might be in the process of accumulating right now. You might be in the process of why is Blake giving me so many heavy loads? We might be in an intensification period, or you might be doing an assessment in the next couple of weeks. And that would be generated next by a deload heading right back into either accumulation or foundation, depending on the client, right? For some of us, we're so new to this, we're going to stay in foundation for a really long time. We're going to build your stability and your balance and your aerobics until we really get into aerobics. And sometimes I kind of mix one and two together because sometimes you are foundation on some things and you're ready for step two accumulating in other things. So it all is really specific towards you. That's why personalized coaching is so important. But I wanted to give you a little insight onto why I do what I do and hopefully this is helpful for you understanding your program.